You are watching Candy Talks about Etrian Odyssey 4 Legends of the Titan. I've got a little ghetto set up for my 3DS here using a Kitty Icarus stand and... Well, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how ghetto this is. Um, so please excuse the camera, that shouldn't be all too shaky. Anyway, this is an RPG that I've been spending most of my weekend with. It would have been my entire weekend if only there hadn't been so much information on Dragon Age Inquisition this weekend. So that's a lot of information for me to cover. Um, but for every second that I haven't been F5-ing video game news sites, I've been playing this game. <laughs> it is absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, look at that logo. <laughs> It's a first-person dungeon crawler RPG, um, a genre that we don't really see nowadays, aside from Legend of Grimrock last year, which sought to resurrect the genre, you know, made famous in the past by games like Dungeon Master and the Eye of the Beholder trilogy. This game is similar to those, but also different. You will find that it plays very similarly to Legend of Grimrock with one major difference. This game is more built upon tactics and character skill than player skill. Uh, so in, there is actually not a single twitch element in the game. Everything is 100% turn based. You can play it as quickly as and as fast as you want to. So here we begin at the inn. Which we will promptly leave. <laughs> Um, to show you a little bit about what I was talking about, how it's more based on tactics. You know how in most of these games you don't really have a lot of skills and stuff. You you, know, you have action, movement, and then you just press buttons to hurt people. Um, this game in battle plays a lot more similar to RPGs like Dragon Quest. And here's the skill trees for the characters. Um, this is just one character. This is the the Landsknecht. <laughs> you know, Japan and Germany. Um, like everything's German when they need uh, something that sounds unique yet isn't English. Um, this is like the jack of all trades class, pretty much. Um, yeah. Also, by the way, just like in most of these games. You create your party 100% on your own. You can create up to 30 characters, I believe. Um, and you can have up to 5 in your party at every, any given time, separated into 2 rows. You can do 2 front, 3 back, or 3 front, 2 back. Uh, I do 3 front. Um, so yeah, that was the Lance Connector of Jack of All Trades. Um, and this is the Night Seeker, who can fight from either of the two rows very well, using either uh, dual wielding, which is what I'm doing, <laughs> uh, or you can use both. She's got this very interesting uh, ability called Shadow Cloak, which annuls one physical attack in the next three turns. Um, this, uh, she's got an auto cloak skill, which automatically uh, assumes a cloak for no cost in the beginning of the battle. It's very useful. Um, she's very big on damage and applying status effects. Then we got a dancer, um, whom I've got built as my sole healer because I don't believe in dedicating he dedicated healers in this part with this party. Um, so what he does is he dances for a turn, and then for three turns, um, I regenerate HP. And uh, there's also lots of other dances that cure um, status ailments and. Uh, up da damage and uh, guard and count gives people the chance to counter hit and stuff. Um, then there's the sniper. Um, he also applies status effects, but from the <laughs> back row, he's also got really nasty damage that I haven't started using yet. I'm mostly just maxing out his utility stuff right now. But he will become a beast later on. Uh, these two skills, Leg Snipe and Arm Snipe, are really useful uh, since they can completely seal and bind, they call it, um, 
enemy attacks. So like if you meet um, a spider who will obviously attack you with its legs for instance, um, you use leg snipe to remove to bind its legs and then it can't do anything to you. If it ha can attack you with both hands and legs, then you need to do both. <laughs> and then there's the Rune Master, who is like the standard MMORPG nuker <laughs> with lots of elemental spells and blah blah blah. Um, you can also get yeah increase maximum techni technique points. This is pretty much exactly what you expect. If you just look at her, she's got a wand. She shoots fire and stuff. Um, might be worth mentioning that most characters, I think all, I'm not sure, but I think, um, have some kind of harvest um, skill. So if you find uh, a node with harvestables in a, d a dungeon, you can uh, up your chances of finding neat stuff. Um, so this is the party I use mostly. It's very oriented around killing things before it kills me and um, crowd control it so that it can't kill me. <laughs> but when I do take damage it hurts. Um, and there is also uh, two more classes that I don't use in my current party. I can show you what they are here. Um, one is the tank, called a Fortress. It's really useful, it's just that I don't have place for this character right now. Um, they can soak up damage really well, they can force other uh, monsters to hurt them, and um, oh, where's the skill? It's a proficiency, maybe. <laughs> yeah, um, each time you get hit, uh, this character gets hit, uh, they can regenerate technical points, TP, uh, which is really useful. So you can just throw out lots of attacks, uh, especially taunts, that cause monsters to hurt you, and then when they hurt you, you get the TP back, so you can taunt again, and you just can just keep on looping this for no cost. It's <laughs> really ridiculous, really. Um, so they seem very powerful. All classes seem very useful. <laughs> um, you just have to spec and use what you want. Uh, here's a medic who is like the standard healer. Um, you can either heal entire lines as they call the rows, uh, or you can heal uh, the entire party, single single user healing. and It's really good. Um, this skill, patch up, it's really nice. It it allows the medic um, to cure the entire party, not a lot of health, but quite a bit, um, for no cost, every time you leave battle. And trust me, that is really useful. <laughs> um, I just noticed that I didn't really talk much about the Lance Connect. Um, the Lance Connect can uh, set up combos with, uh, with friends, um, with links. So that uh, you attack an enemy, um, and then they get, um, then the enemy gets uh, tagged, <laughs> and uh, next time uh, an ally hits that uh, enemy, um, then they will uh, perform an extra attack with the elementals. Um, the Lance Connect can also make sure it goes first in its turn order. And apply some debuffs and shit, and also heal. <laughs> and that's why I call the uh, Jack of all trades. You can do a little bit of everything. Mm. But enough talk about the game like that. I will return to my standard party, and I will show you what the game actually looks like when you are out in the field. Uh, so we will depart on the skyship. Go to to uh, the small orchard, which is the dungeon I'm in at the moment. And here you see that the game looks very much like <laughs> the old, um, um, the, the first person dungeon crawlers of old. It's like 
it's got a perfect grid. And here's the, one of the neat things about this game. You actually draw your own map. Oh my god, this was so difficult without displacing the camera. I will have to move my hand. Okay. <laughs> so you draw your own map. Like so. I have actually been to this map before. I'm only going... I've removed part of the map so I can show you how it works. So you will be walking like this, like, oh, okay, it's time to move and turn, okay. The game is nice enough to to draw these green grass as you walk, so you know where you've been. And there's a wall in front of us, so let's draw that. Let's keep going. Okay, here's just a straight line, so, okay. Just like this. At first, this seems really tedious. But trust me, it's not. It, it's so nice to actually get to do your own mapping. At least I think so. So let's add some water there. Okay, great. Now we know what that what this place looks like. You can see I haven't been up here, and there's a harvestable spot up there. That's what we see blinking up there. That's really interesting. I want to go there. I want to see what's in there because <laughs> I want to get all the stuff in here. Also, this thing here, really dangerous. When you move, it moves. That's called a foe, F-O-E, in capital letters, and it moves when you move. Um, it also moves when you take turns in battle. So at times, when, uh, if you're fighting real close to it, it can aggro and join the battle that is currently uh, be being uh, had. It's um, really interesting, and the foes are, in general, really, really difficult, so you don't want them to join. Oh, battle! This is um, why I call it Dragon Quest-esque battles. So you've got attacks here, you can perform your skills. Um, burst, let's not get into that at the moment. <laughs> Throw items, defend, swap up uh, the party, and escape. There is also a very handy auto button up here, so if I feel like this battle is really easy, I'll just press L and it will auto resolve itself. I can also check like a Pokedex of the en on the enemies. If I have beaten them before, then I can see what they drop and shit. I don't think that's readable <laughs> for you guys, Frog Fluid, but yeah, you can also see what they are. Uh, vulnerable to slashing damage, piercing damage, crushing damage, fire, ice, and lightning. The skills, what it drop, the stats, flavor text, because flavor text is important, yay. Uh, <laughs> so let's kill these buggers. Um, Morgan will hit twice, because she's badass like that. And now I'm calling my characters by their names, just to confuse you. You see, as I'm hurting enemies, uh, there's a bar that grows here. Stop hurting me. <laughs> and that's a burst bar. Uh, I'm currently at level 1, and as it fills up several times, can fill up to 5 times, you can use special burst skills that are party-wide super skills. And this is where a lot of my survivability comes in. Um, I've got only things that allow me to retreat from the dungeon and to guard against damage and shit. Uh, that's why I make sure I don't die, so I don't need to have a healer with me. And let's just auto attack for the rest of this fight. Oh, Shelly's taking a lot of damage down there. I will have to heal her after the battle. Yay! Anchors gained a level. As you can see, Ankers has never died, and he's always been in my party, even when I'm swapping characters out. I also found a rat fang down here. Uh, the loot system in this game is pretty interesting. You sell items uh, to stores, and then you can use those items, even though you sold them, uh, to craft items. So it's like, you have to sell items, and then the items you have sold, those are the items you use to craft. So you get money and the ability to craft items. And everything, everything, like everything aside from the, the simplest healing potion, is crafted. <laughs> this game is really hardcore, it's pretty difficult too. I'm like pretty over-leveled for this area. 
Uh, this is actually a note I put out myself, just to remind myself that I found a poison hammer here, so if any of my friends ask me where I found the poison hammer, I can show you, the, I can look back and see, okay, the, that's where I got them. Oh, le there was a harvestable node down there. Let's go harvest! Okay, nothing special so far. And here I was hoping I would get something on camera that showed, oh, you got this item because your characters have these harvestable skills. Okay. <laughs> the game isn't being nice to me like that. Another battle. Okay, th this is great. Uh, we got two lines of characters. Um, I don't think she can do very much in anything interesting at the moment. Oh, I should have healed. I'm like so senile when I'm <laughs> recording. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I'll let you attack there. Um, Morgan's doing fine. She doesn't need to do anything special. Uh, let's uh, regen Dawn's. Um, and Anchors can shoot the guy in the background while the mage goes to Fireball, which is an aerial effect skill. Note how Morgan's attack blinded the enemy. Not that it mattered that much because I die now. <laughs> no, wait, oh. Ah, yes, auto attack. Let's go. I am going to fight an FOE before I'm done with this video. Uh, every time you level up you get new skill points, but I'm not going to uh, set skills when I'm recording this. This is taking long enough as it is. Okay, so there's an FOE. And he's guarding the freaking spot <laughs> that I want to get to, the harvestable node. Okay, so I'll use Orlean, my lance connect, to apply bandages to people. Um, okay, Shelly's is the only one who needs it. Um, I don't think there's anything more I need to do before I'm ready, because I'm actually a pretty nice status here. Wow, it's pretty rare that I come here in such nice condition. You just left the harvesting mode. Okay, I will harvest everything. Ooh! <laughs> this is a rare item. As you can see from the color. Oh! And now Morgan's Herbology skill made me find just another Dragon's Blood. I can use Dragon's Blood to craft interesting items. Most likely. Um, <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, it's the first time I find Dragon's Blood. Okay, I'm going to fight the FOE anyway, even though I didn't need to. Hello? Like, a My Little Pony reject or something. <laughs> Okay, so let's go. I will use Power Break, that lowers its attack power. Um, let's apply a Shadow Cloak to Morgan, so if someone attacks Morgan, she does not take damage. Let's start up a Regen Waltz, so to heal. Not that we will need to be healed unle <laughs> unless uh, Orlean comes through with the Power Break and it actually hits. Um, otherwise, uh, this thing will probably insta-kill any character it hits. Oh, that's new from an item I just... Wow. Wow, okay. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> you can uh, apparently um, equip items that come with spells on them. I had no idea. I thought that's what it meant, but I equipped a new item before I started playing. Oh, you know how it is. Leg snipe. It's a unit. It's got legs. It's going to hurt me with legs, so I'll try to bind its legs. Um, and I want to make it susceptible to fire damage. And also increase the entire party's uh, defense against fire. Okay, let's see what happens. Whew! Okay, so did the debuff hit? I don't think it did. Let's try again, power break. This time you guys get to actually attack. Um, you will not get to attack normally because you need to bind that shit. Uh, 
as you can see, uh, the game remembers what you pressed last time. So if you guys want to do the very same thing with the same character two times in a row, it will do that automatically for you. Well, the cursor will move there automatically. Ow. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. I thought it would be way worse. This is quite an easy foe compared to, oh my god, there's kangaroos out on the world map. They, like, hit for 200 damage. <laughs> Oh, it looks just a water attack. Just to taunt you. Oh my god, it hit Morgan, and Morgan has Shadow Cloaks and no damage. This went really well. And now I got fo a foes, and it drops. I can probably craft some really interesting items from this, and I should probably be moving away from this dungeon since I'm kicking its ass. I didn't think it would go this well. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, this is not rehearsed. Um, I had no idea this would happen. Okay. So where is it? Oh, it's down by the opening. I'm going to get here. What's the worst thing that could happen? That I, I wipe? Um, not likely. I got um, my burst skills that gets me out of trouble. Is that you? Oh my god, that thing moves quickly. Okay, let's get back up there. Oh, it moves two squares for every one square I move. Oh, get back here. Oh, free shadow work. I wonder what that enemy is. Oh, stop attacking me, I want to see it. Now oh, look, it's went away. <laughs> There's also um, a daylight cycle, day night cycle in this game, including um, a calendar. Like today is Emperor the Tenth, so some quests are timed and stuff. Pretty nifty. Okay, please come back. Hurt me. Come here. Oh yes. What is this? I don't know. It's like. Whoa. Oh, I got free Shadow Cloak. Nice. Um, let's power break here. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, let's use Ice Knife. See what happens. Region Vaults. Uh, it seems like it's going to be his legs, right? I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> this is exciting. Holy, what was that? Did you just confuse all my characters? Oh, they are panicked. I wonder what that means, I've never seen... Oh! Oh, they hurt random characters. This is not good. Hmm. I can restore status with this item. Who should go first? Um, you, I think. Oh, I should have stocked up more of these. Ow, ow. Stop killing one another! <laughs> yeah, let's do guard order. Increase everyone's uh, defense. Let's throw a potion on Morgan. And you need to dance! <laughs> dance, both of you! Oh. Let's go fireball. Okay, so Morgan's down. But this is not going very well. But this is more like how I thought the last fight would go. <laughs> um, doesn't seem like I hit with power break last time. Whew. Okay. I need you to heal. Let's continue hurting this thing. It doesn't have that much life.
thing. Now it did uh, half, I saw uh, an update. Let's keep on hurting it and hope for the best. Ow! Ow, Shelly! Shelly's down. I don't have any Phoenix Downs, whatever they're called in this game. I actually don't know, because I never used one. Um, I might just have to escape from this battle. Ow. Yeah, this is not looking well. Um, so yeah, this game is pretty difficult. <laughs> I'm not dealing any damage to it. Oh, power break wore off. Yeah, let's burst. Full retreat. Escape. And there you have it. Time to go back. I think that was a pretty good display of the game right there. You got to see some random battles. You got to see me beat a foe and get absolutely wrecked by a foe. Um, this is the world map, which isn't very interesting at all, sadly. Um, you can find harvesting nodes here too. Oh shit, a foe saw me. It's one of those freaking kangaroos. Um, I don't see any of the nodes on the map now, so I can't show you as I harvest. These harvests are actually a little bit more interesting since um, you usually harvest food and stuff that you then uh, automatically sell when you return home to the town. Well, at least I can sell some stuff and. Um, Two dragons blood. Oh, I didn't find any new stuff. Okay, oh no. So far, uh, nothing new. Well, nothing new, but I got lots of white and lots of money, so I can buy new gear. This is embarrassing. I should stop the video right about now. I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I've just been playing, um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Um, Cause I've pretty much shown you. The main stuff about this game. It's yeah. <laughs> this is the game. <laughs> Get wrecked by foes, go home, uh, buy new items, um, hope for the for better results next time, um, level up. It's pretty much well there's no real story to it. There is one, but it's not really worth getting into. I mean, there's not much to get into, you might as well, but it's not interesting. This is about 100% about gameplay, and um, it's a really good game, <laughs> uh, really addictive. Um, so I have no idea if this video was coherent or anything. It was the first time I tried one of these videos, um, so I'll upload it. And please um, leave a comment down there or something. It should be down there. Yeah, leave comments. Say what. Did what should I improve for next time if I do one of these videos again? This is Kid, signing out. Hope you've had a good weekend, and I hope you will keep on having a good week and whatever. Goodbye!